Hey everybody, welcome back to another video on this channel and thanks a lot for over 5,000 subscribers. You are amazing. And let's jump into the topic, which is Nuxt Alias. Here we go. Yes, as I mentioned, thank you so much for over 5,000 subscribers on this channel. It's amazing. I'm very happy that I started, well, in last September and already see so many people interested in the content. As usual, please keep the ideas coming, the suggestions. I'll read for every comment and answer where possible. And um, I'm very happy to bring out a new video every single Friday. As a little special for 5Ks and um, for the upcoming ViewConf US conference, I am allowed to raffle one ticket to a lucky winner. All you have to do is to write down in the comments why you want to attend um, the ViewConf US, which happens from May 15th to May 17th in New Orleans. And not only why, but also tell us what amazing thing you built with Nuxt.js. Okay, and then everybody, uh, good luck, uh, fingers crossed, and I will pick the lucky winner next week. From the raffle now to the next aliases topic, because aliases are very important if we don't want to rely on auto imports all the time, or maybe we can't because we don't auto import everything, um, then some people prefer relative paths, some people prefer some file aliases, and there are some default in Nuxt.js, which we'll see in our demo application in a second. So we'll have a look what aliases are there, how to define custom aliases, when to use which aliases and when you can't use them, and check out some caveats. As usual, our demo application is as minimal as possible, only giving us a next config here to make sure you don't have the black, white, black, white flash as in last episode. If you haven't checked out in testing, that's worth checking out. Link as usual around here in the description. And we have an app view that just renders Hello YouTube for now. So what we want to showcase is what aliases Nuxt includes, first of all. So maybe one thing we can do is we create, can create a custom file. Let's say custom and then file.ts. And in here we export a const as tests, for example, pi. And we say pi is three, exactly three. <clears throat> and what we want to do now, we want to render pi in here. Of course, if we do that, that uh, wouldn't work. TypeScript will always say like, ah, look, Pi doesn't exist here because we don't auto import it. We could even say, hey, let's auto import everything in that file. And I've already shown that in another video, which is also linked below. So if you want to auto import, have a look there. But in some case we say like, oh, okay, we don't want to auto import everything, it's fine. So we just want to import it. So the best way to import it is just say import. And then we do, because it's a named export, pi in the curly brackets. And then we do from, and an easy way we can do is just say, Okay, let's take custom and then file.js. And that works, that worked fine. If we would check out the browser now, I will do that straight away. We'll see, all good. We have the number three here as we expect. But um, now the question would be, is this the preferred way to go? Because it works, that's fine, but is this enough, we'll say. And the answer is, yeah, it's fine. If, you, if you're happy with relative uh, imports, that's all good. You don't need to use any aliases at all. But I know some people prefer using aliases, mainly so when they move files along, they don't have to update the aliases because things will still work. Let me show you what I mean. So let's say we change that name here from custom to custom folder, something like that. Then we see, ah, okay, somehow that didn't update. Okay, uh, VS Code will try to update it here. Some IDEs might not. So let's, let's just assume it didn't happen because it also failed and things will break just by renaming some things. In this case, that is a bit tricky to catch. You might have to go through and do it step by step anyway to change it to like custom folder. But what if I say, okay, look, this is this is relative, right? Now we have an apt view here. What if this would live in a component? Let's say just say components slash my component dot view. And we would copy that over or move that code over here. Now this wouldn't work anymore because it's a relative path. So we'd have to go out of the component file, add another dot here. This is not ideal, it's a bit more work. So there are ways to resolve that. Let's go back to app the view and see what we can do. Because the easiest way would be setting the alias to add or it's the same till both do the same thing, their aliases to each other. And if you copy over this code here now, then there are no complaints and this will work no matter if I move that a layer down, for example, in another folder in here, because the path will never change as we say the till or the add refers to the source directory of our folder. And there's another alias that 
seems to do roughly the same. So if we change that to the double tilt here, or also the double add, these are also aliases. And as I said, now they seem to do the same thing. They point to the, the same folder. And that's correct, but there are two differences. So we have add and tilt, and they point uh, to the source directory, while the double tilt and the double add, they point to the root directory. So by default, the next three though, then root deer and source deer is the same right now. This might change in next four because we propose a different directory structure. If you haven't heard about that issue is as usual in the description. And well, um, you can already do that by now. You can even say, okay, look, let's set the source directory by just setting source there here and say, let's put that into source, right? And now what we'd want to do is create that source directory and move components, for example, in here, everything that's related to the app source, right? Source as well. Uh, App.view should go in there too. And this would be then the source folder. And now at uh, at add and uh, double tilde, they would still point to the root folder while the single add here or the single tilde they would point to the source directory that we configured. So that's the main difference between the double and the single aliases. And it's quite an important difference. Now you might wonder, okay, we have these four aliases that are defined, and also there are a few more, but we'll come to the hash aliases in a little bit. Um, can we also set up some custom aliases for our Nuxt application? And the answer is, of course, we can. Let's see how. In our Nuxt config, we can use the alias object and in here define own aliases. For example, we can say, I don't know, at my lib. Uh, and then we can just say, okay, let's let's point my lib to dot slash uh, lib, let's say. And we could use that alias now easily to refer to a file, to import something from that lib folder without having to use relative paths again or without having to use the root folder. This is especially useful if your app grows, because then it makes it easier to define certain parts of the application. In most of the apps I built so far, it's not really needed, but I've seen people use this in bigger projects and having a bit of a better structure. So if you feel like it's useful, that's up to you. I prefer to stick to the default aliases unless there is a good reason to segregate and segment some things. But hey, whatever floats your boat. And from here, we can say, okay, we have the custom aliases. We, we have the default aliases as well. Before we take a look into how to use them and where we've seen kind of where already, but there are some gotchas. Let's talk about a few more other aliases that Nux provides, which are hashtag imports, hashtag app, hashtag vRouter, and so on and so on. So these are so-called hash imports. These are and targets that you can import from, especially if you don't want to use auto imports. So you can make sure that you still get something like use fetch or use async data, all the functions that are usually auto imported through Nuxt itself. But if you say, hey, let's disable auto imports completely, that's the way to go. And Daniel Rowe already created a very nice video on that. So I won't go fully into detail here. Take a look at his video, linked as usual in the description, you know, there somewhere up here um, for more in-depth information on that. And now let's have a look at the gotchas because of course, imports are really nice, but we can't use them everywhere in our project. In most cases we can, but here's an important difference and we'll take a look straight away uh, in our demo application where the gotchas are. So the first thing where we can't use aliases is in the Nuxt config itself. I mean, first of all, most of you probably won't import any files here anyway, but if you do, you can do import file from uh, tilde slash file.js, let's say. Let's create it real quick and see what happens. So let's do a file dot even ts here, say export, do we do anything here? Oh, file. So we do default. Yeah, we can just do it like this and say as1, very simple. Um, and this won't, won't necessarily work. I mean, we are in a source directory, um, so we don't want to do source file. So we do the double one um, because we have the source here. here. And while they say, okay, that works. Your IDE won't complain about it. And we can say file.a, maybe just say console.log file.a. While this seems to work fine, there are no errors about it. If we have a look in our server, we will see that, ah, this breaks, cannot find module file.js here. And 
Now it's a bit weird because, okay, from a type perspective, everything is fine, but why exactly doesn't that work? And the problem is we have a hand and egg issue here because we've defined our custom alias in the next config like literally a few minutes before. And now we say, okay, we define our aliases there, Nux provides their own. So the Nux config boots up the whole process and is not aware of the alias that might exist. So before knowing all the aliases using it is a bit tricky. That's why that won't work. There's also an issue again, linked in the description to make it a bit more clear, also to avoid like auto imports and so on, because they also don't work in a Nux config for exactly the same reason. But nevertheless, it's good to know. There are also two more scenarios where there is a quote unquote problem with aliases because you can't use them. And the first thing is in modules. If you build a custom module, you shouldn't use aliases. You can't also use auto imports, just import from hashtag imports and uh, reference the things with relative paths. It's also important if you use other files that might are used also in the context of your Nuxt application in a module, because then they also need the imports. And the last thing I've mentioned that two videos ago, two weeks ago, layers. So if you use layers, you shouldn't use the relative, uh, sorry, you shouldn't use the aliases. You should always use the relative paths. The main reason is because add and tilt are always referred and also same with the double add and double tilt to the source directory and root directory of the most specific layer. So if you have an app layer um, and that depends on the base layer and in the base you use some add and tilt and you run the app layer, it's always this source directory, this root directory on top. It doesn't really know like, okay, look at the source and root directory of the layer below because the referencing always happens when you start the application and then this will be used. But I've also briefly mentioned that two weeks ago in the video. And yeah, I think that's uh, the overview about aliases. I hope you uh, know a bit more now, might not be confused where to use them and where not to use them. And in general, if you're line auto imports, first and foremost, you might not need these aliases in most cases. But if you're a fan of them, if you want to use them, you know how to make it work, you know how to create your source directory and maybe have a look at the wonderful improved directory structure for Nux4 issue to weigh in with your opinion. Last but not least, please check out the new stage of view episode. I know you like it because it's all about Nitro. And if you have any questions left, any suggestions, put them down below in the comments. I'll read them. And until then, see you latest next Friday, hopefully here next Thursday. And talk to you soon. Happy hacking.